Having the ability to create your own loop output is a powerful feature. In this tutorial, I show you how to create a dynamic testimonial custom loop section with Bricks Builder. We will create our own loop output with the query loop builder and for the metadata we use the advanced custom field and custom post type Y plugins. Welcome back everybody! If you don't know who I am, I am Natalie from Sites with Natalie, a YouTube channel dedicated to all things related to WordPress websites. I have my plugins installed, ACF to add Acer custom fields to my custom post type. Custom fields are additional metadata you can add to any custom post type. And the custom post type Y plugin, WordPress comes by default with building posters and pages. These two are both types of, of posts. The custom post type Y plugin allows you to create your own post type. It allows you to have their own set of fields and display options you control from the WordPress dashboard. And I'm running the latest Bricks Builder version 1402. So the first step is to create a testimonial custom post type. So create a new custom post type. Why? I call it testimonials. As this is the slug, it will, it will be always in all, uh, lower cases. For the plural label, I had in testimonials. The singular is testimonial. You can go through all the remaining labels. For this video, I use the auto populate labels option to populate the additional labels based on the already chosen fields. I find it easier to use this way. Only item I want to add is a menu icon to my left WordPress admin bar. So under menu icon, click and find your chosen icon. Ports is where you set the various available options to insert on the WordPress post editor. I choose title only since the remaining data will be created with advanced custom fields plugin. Everything else remains as it is. As you can see, there is my testimonials custom post type at your left WordPress admin bar. Let's add a new. So all testimonials had new. As you can see, we just have the title to fill in. The remaining content will be added with the ACF plugin. My next move is to create a custom fields, so navigate to custom fields, add new, give it a, a label, I call it testimonial fields, click on add new, at add field, sorry, we are input data to show on the front end, the first field I call it testimonial, to serve as the actual text of the testimonial, press Tap from your keyboard to insert this automatically. This will be a text, field type, a required, and everything else. I keep it as it is. Click on the head field button to add another one. This time I call it author, author image. Press tap. This time is an imaged field required to have the last field i label a author name press tab as a text field is fine a required and don't ever forget to set the rules location down below i want them to be applied to a post type so the post type needs to be equal to testimonial publish Next, uh, let's go to my testimonials tab to start creating the testimonial post type. Click on add new. As you can see, now we have new fields, the title, the testimonial itself, the author image and the author name. I quickly had that some data I fill in all these fields so that later I can pull in from here. So here it is my first testimonial and I click on publish. I want to add another one so that when we place at the front end, we get two testimonials. So I quickly add my number two testimonial. 
So here they are, my two testimonials. The next move is to put these two within a custom loop template with Bricks Builder. To do that, move over to Bricks Templates. Before the template creation, you should go to the Bricks Settings to select the post types to edit with Bricks. So go to Bricks Settings under General. Make sure you select your custom post type and then save your settings. Let's build up the testimonial loop with bricks. So move over to bricks templates, add a new one and give it a logical name. Set the template type from your right hand side to single. Publish and edit with a bricks. To display all of these at the front end, we use the powerful Query Loop Builder to make our custom loop. You can query post types, taxonomy terms and users. When applied to a specific container, it will repeat for as many posts you have queried. Each item will show all the ACF fields dynamically generated, which means you set up these once and then import content whenever. Every part of your design link to dynamic content is updated automatically. Under template setting let's determine the conditions I define mine to be indivi individual under populate content I determine it as being a single post page and then I input one of my custom post type and apply preview I place to the canvas a container which will serve as my query loop item. The HTML tag I set it to a section, display flex, flex wrap no wrap, the direction would be vertical, under the alignment I set mine to center, align in the, the main axis in space between items, has a cross axis, I also set mine to center. In the style tab I set the layout, so I go with the width of 1000 pixels and I set the top and bottom 30 pixels and the 25 right and left. I also insert a margin of 100 top and bottom. Come over to the content tab, start building the loop. The first thing is to enable the query loop, meaning that all elements inside this container are repeated as many times as the results of the query. Below there is the loop control. The parameters are post terms and users, as we are talking about the type of content you want to display inside the loop. I go with posts. Under post type, I find my custom post type testimonials. And under, under posts per pages, I set mine to two posts per page. The rest remains as they are, as this is a simple testimonial loop. I want to insert a box shadow to my container. So select the container element and under style, box shadow, I insert the box shadow values to be two pixels. X and Y, a blur of 11 and a spread to 2 and my color would be this color. The first element is the post title element. Post title under the content tab I set a H5 HTML tag and I link it to post. The next element is a basic text so search for basic we will pull in dynamically from my ACF field. Select the dynamic icon, delete this placeholder text, dynamic data, scroll down to the ACF and select a author name. In the style tab I put here padding of 20 top and bottom. And then the typography we define here, I set my color to this blue capitalized and the font weight of about 700, 700. I need now an image element. Under the content tab, select your ACF field to bring in the author image dynamically. Scroll down and find the ACF section and put author image. Under the style, I set here a bottom margin of 50 pixels 
and the size I set mine in percentage 17 is good for me and then the border I set a solid border width to 8 pixels and the radius of 100% Okay, cool. Awesome. I insert the basic text element to pull in dynamically the testimonial itself. And then select the dynamic icon and choose your corresponding ACF field. To me is testimonial. Under the start tab, let's, let's quickly adjust the typography settings to this dark blue color. 700 weight can capitalize to keep consistent. I also need an icon to insert the quotation icon. So select the container and then do a quick search for icon. Now I want here a quotation. I also adjust here my color to would be this X X color. Okay, and in the style tab I want here to position in line and position absolute because I want to move around the icon and I want to set it to 50 pixels left and 60 pixels bottom. I also need to set up the Z index to 1 so it stays in front of the container. Now let's check out on the front end how it looks the testimonial template loop. Click on the preview mode icon to view on the front end and click on the next icon. We are seeing the template looking good and pretty awesome. I like it very much. The final result is to insert on any page. Back to Builder. Do you know how to do it with bricks? The next step is to create a bricks template for this loop. So navigate over to bricks templates and add new. I call it testimonial section and the, the template type is section. Publish and edit with bricks. The template condition is set to individual and to populate content I select my single post page and in this single post page I want to bring in this post and apply preview. Let's add a container and inside I want a heading, a nested heading. Select that element in the content tab as I want this text what our customers are saying with the h2 tag this is a dynamic data and then is the post link in the style tab i specify my dark color in the layout i specify the align to center i need to tell bricks to where apply and display this template section so add in a template element select the element and in the content tab select testimonial loop we are done the only missing step now is to add it to any page i have here already set up my home page and I want to insert in this in this layout my section, my template section. Let's close this this page sections. And what I want to do is to insert in this beautiful layout here my template. So I grab 
a container let's space it here before the contact inside my container i want a template and select the template and specify which one you want to display testimonial section and here it is the layout are not perfectly aligned one simple way to fix this is set the width to 1000 pixels it was my original width so now everything it's great there you go if you enjoyed the video please take a second to subscribe to the channel to stay updated about the channel new releases don't forget to smash the bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content thank you so much for watching have a nice day wherever you are